Okay, 30 cc's. How many is it going to take to knock her out, I think? I, I don't know, actually. <laughs> I wonder. Oh boy, hang on. Howdy folks, and welcome back to ARK Adventures. This is the building series on the center map. You may be wondering, why are we doing so many building series in a row? What happened to ARK Comes Alive? Well, so I'm wondering the same thing. <laughs> Um, I've been trying my darndest to finish that third uh, episode of the evolution of uh, the uh, the big dodo uh, on Ark Comes Alive, but every time I go in there, there's something wrong with Ark Comes Alive, and I can't do it. And right now, actually, as I'm recording this, I literally can't cannot, cannot get into our server. Um, version 1.0 of Ark Comes Alive has been released, and it basically broke the server. So can't do anything with it at the moment. So we're back here building more stuff and taming more stuff, maybe. I don't know exactly what we're going to do because I didn't really have a plan for today, but we'll figure it out. Okay, I switched all the lights on here. It's a little brighter now. <laughs> and I think I have some ideas. Uh, one is these guys, these resource bosses. We haven't done the MOSA yet, so we do need to do the MOSA, which means we're going to need to create some sort of a water pen. And we've got a water, big water uh, body of water right out there that I thought we could put a gate in. We talked about it before. Uh, so that's one option. Uh, the second option, I think, is we could build the Indominus and God Shrines and get those things spawning and see if we can go out and tame some of those and bring those back. Those would be kind of cool. And then the third option is a little bit more construction. Now, I do, I talked about wanting to build the Plant Species X turrets, and I did plant a Plant Species X seed. Uh, it's somewhere around here. Is this it? Yes. Why is this not growing? Why is that not growing? Magic Plant Species X seed. It's the magic seed. Um, oh, it's producing 50 of them automatically, but it's not producing Plant Species X. Unless these seeds qualify for creating... Huh. Well, I don't know. Weird. I have no idea what's going on there. We'll figure that out. Um, so I do need... I just saw that RG flying by, which reminded me that I do need to create those turrets. Uh, so that's one project we can work on. Uh, we can work on a, a, a shelter up there for the top of the uh, teleporter rings to secure those as well. Um, so I think we're going to do the easy thing. We're going to create the Indominus and, uh, and Godling Shrines and, and see if we can find one out there. Okay, these shrines are actually really easy to make. If I'm not mistaken, it's not a lot of materials. It's raw metal and stone. We're used to that from this guy over here. Might even have some raw metal and stone on him. No, he doesn't, but he's going to need it anyway, so we might as well put it on him, right? All right, give me some uh, metal. And from the Tekablot, actually, we'll take it from you. And some stone which we'll also probably take from Mother Earth. If she's got any, she doesn't. So we're going to take it from here instead. We're going to take 40k of them. All right, that should be enough for us to do what we want to do. Yeah, I know, I'm overweight. Okay, there we go. So, shrines. We got the Dragon God and the Indom Shrine. All right, two shrines are built. Nothing happens, no spawns happen until we actually place them. So, I don't know what to do with these seeds. I can't, <laughs> I can't, can't get rid of them. All right, so where are we going to want to put these shrines? We have no other structure in here at the moment other than up here. But each of the ends of this thing are kind of occupied. So, we all, it's almost like we want to build a special platform just for the shrines. So, let's do that too. So, hmm. Where would we want to put such a thing? Maybe over here. Would be our shrine area. So how do we want these two shrines to be? Up on, like, kind of up on a little pedestal, a little, little, little dais sort of thing, maybe? I think? Okay, well, let's see what kind of options we have in here. So for structures, we do have the foundations, obviously. We have pillars. Ooh, pillars. Ooh, keep pillars. Let's take a look at these. First of all, let's see what they look like. I'm just kind of curious. Um, we have the ramps, we know about that. Miscellaneous stable bedding. I still don't know what that's for. <laughs> uh, prison, no. Fireplace, no. Railings, no. Let's see what these, what these columns, these pillars look like real fast. Kind of curious. Oh, they're very tiny. But that's actually probably fine. Oh, I see. Half of it was buried. In fact, you have to kind of stack them this way. 
Yeah. Okay. I'm going to take my builder's helmet off and put it back on to reset that mod. Since I've connected, there we go. Let's um, let's look at this this method. These little guys. Now this snaps right to the foundation. Yeah, it sure does. Okay, so I don't need to worry about that. So let's put one here, one here, one here, and one in front. And I think maybe a ramp up to that first one. A couple of ceilings. Let's see what happens. Let's see what we can build here. So if it's what I think it is, we're talking two, three ceilings and a ramp. And I actually think we have some of that already, but I'm going to make it again, just in case. So actually, let's take, can we do the rounded ceilings? Those would be kind of cool. I wonder if those would work. Hmm. I don't know if they'll work up on the, the pillars like that. Let's go take a look. Do do do. Okay, what do we got here? What's it want to snap to? It wants to snap way up there. Oh, it's against the wall. It's trying to snap. I see. It doesn't want to snap to the pillar at all. If we do that, and then this one. I don't know why I put one in the hot bar to begin with. Like that. Let's take these back up for a moment. We may not even use these pillars. And we'll put a ceiling there. And a ramp, and then the maybe the shrine on either side. Are there curved railings? I don't think there are. What do you have on you still? You've got a bunch of stuff that has been made in this mod. I think. Maybe. You've got those ramps. That's not what I want. Yeah, here we go. That and that and that. All of this stuff. Ooh, curved stairs. Those would be kind of cool. All of this stuff I'm going to go put back in that table because that's where it belongs anyway. Okay. Alright, well what else do we have over here? So if I take these curved stairs, how do these things place? They're kind of cool. Ooh, like that? Yeah, hello. Hey, hi. Come here. Come here, Argy. Come here, wild Argy. I'd like to introduce you to Mother Earth. And... Goodbye. <laughs> goodbye, RG. Alright, I just came in here to make a couple of ceilings because I wanted to get this thing aligned properly. And I think... I think... This will look pretty cool, I hope. Um, this is still the center, right? Is this the center? This is the center. That's that one right there. Okay, cool. Excellent. All right, so now, will this turn here, or do I have to create a, one from the other direction? Hmm. Looks like I have to create a different staircase. That's fine. In fact, let's create it now. Over here. Um, that staircase that I have in my inventory is the same one I placed over there, so this is a left. I need a stairs right. I think it's under ramps? Yeah. Star spiral stairs right. Alright. This hopefully will snap on the other side. Go ahead and just quickly use that item from our inventory so we don't have to put it on the hot bar. Do 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 Oh, almost. Almost. Oh, 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 had it. Yeah. Oh, no. That's not it. What? Okay, let's try that again. Since we're going to have to play some multiple times, we're going to put that on the hotbar. <laughs> okay, what's the best way to do this? All right, let's use the old, the new key they introduced to cycle through the different snap points. But I'm seeing the snap points, and they don't look right. Hmm. You need it to be out here. Oh, I need it like that. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Nice. That works, that works. Alright, I've got a couple of these rails. Let's see if I want these out here, and here, and here. Or do I? Let's see. If they come up here, yeah, there's no room for the actual shrines now. So we're going to have to get... This would be where it would be nice to have those rounded... Oh, yeah. 
have those rounded ceilings and maybe some pedestals outside. Okay, 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 it's starting to come together, it's starting to come together. Let's get those rounded ceilings that I took from both the other side. Um, are they all the same? I think they are. It doesn't say right or, oh, it does say right and left, okay. So I need a rounded left, there it is. And one more straight ceiling, right? Um, so ceilings, straight. And I can get rid of that. And I think I can get rid of those ramps. I don't think I need those. And let's take that ceiling. Get this guy plugged in where it needs to be. Which is coming off of the center one here. Like that. All right. This guy over one of these two. Not that, not, not that way. All right, let's do that again. We'll take this one then. There we go. And then this one. Nice. Oh, nice. And that kind of makes this flush too, because I was worried about this kind of sticking, the staircase kind of sticking out from the wall, but now it has something to, to snap onto. That's nice. Awesome. Well, we don't have any rounded railings, so I think railings are out now. But how about pillars? What are these going to look like? Oh, see, I can snap. Nice. Now I can snap to the actual ceilings, which is cool. I'm almost thinking the one is enough, isn't it? It, don't want to, it doesn't want to snap to the curved ones. It'll snap to those back there, but do I want those to snap? Hmm. 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 Yeah, you can move past them. I'll, I'll take it. That looks kind of cool. Can we change any of the colorings on this? We sure can. Um, since this is a shrine, we're going to make all this stuff dark matter. Ooh, because it's all shiny and glowy. I don't know if you guys can see that, but turn off the outline. Turn off the HUD. Look at that. Look at that. Blah, 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 blah. All right, can the stairs be? They can be dark matter. All right, dark matter. Everywhere. Dark matter. Foundation cobble. Of course, no dark matter. Oh, man. Hellfire? Ooh. 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 Hellfire for the ceilings looks really awesome. Okay, Hellfire. Hellfire. And Hellfire. Oh, that is nice. And from up here. Oh, yeah. A little bit of an animation on those two. They kind of glow. That, those ice walls don't look right. Being so close to Hellfire. Oh, there's more wooden ones now. He's added more. That's cool. There's like multiple woods. Nice. So should this be obsidian? Since it's ice that's been touched by lava or something? I don't know. I'm making things up. And another one. That. And one more. Okay. Eh, 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 we'll leave it that way for now. So it's time to put down the shrines. And first one we're going to put down is the Dragon God Shrine. Oh, that's big. I didn't think it was that big. <laughs> didn't remember in context how big it was. I'm down here and see if I can fit this on the corner relatively easily. I should be able to spin it, too. Oh, no, I couldn't spin it. Interesting. It looks kind of awkward the way it's placed. And this one. There we go. Indom. Dragon Gods. All right, we should get some spawns happening now. Awesome. And we can do the sacrifices and all that sort of thing, too. So. <laughs> Let's get our taming stuff from the other base. I think it's in the other base. Oh, no, it's right here. And we're going to see if it's possible to tame some godlings or gods using <laughs> using traditional 30cc methods. Let's put it that way. We might even be able to cage them. Hmm. Because I have them set on non-aggro here. Uh, except for the brand new god that was added, the, the flying one, the, the wyvern. The rest of them are non aggro. You should be able to walk right up to them and put a cage around them. That would be interesting to try. Let's find out. Okay. Here's our first test. Here's a goddess. Let's test, first of all, that I have the server configured right and she won't aggro me. 
kind of walk towards her. She's aggroing all the things around her for sure. Just want to make sure she doesn't come after me. If she accidentally hits me, that's one thing. Are they all running to her or away from her? Come on, stop it. Let's let all her kill all of these things. Alright, she's in the air again. She shouldn't be after me. Okay. They do want her. Let's go ahead and get our cage, which is on. Are we being attacked? No. Here, we'll, we'll use zero to use it, just in case we might have to use it multiple times. Alright, that cat's coming over here, that's fine. Well, it was. Is again. Oh. I don't want to accidentally get hit by her. Alright, let's clear this, help her clear this area out if we can. She's going to fight that cat forever. <laughs> Yeah, she, pretty clearly she's not aggroing me. She's coming right at me many times and was very close and is not coming after me. She just wants that cat. Uh, Rhino. Do I go in and just fe grab that guy? Seems to be the only way I can get... She's not doing a good job of killing him. Let's try grabbing him. Uh-oh, I think... Yep. Yeah. I'm going to let her de-aggro. I think I, I got in her wake and she hit me. Or she's after the cat. One or the other. Alright, out of view distance. Drop cat. Boo! Bye-bye cat! And then go back and see if she's aggroed me still or if she's after the cat. Alright, where are you, goddess? You're over here somewhere. There you are. You after me? Looks like you are. <laughs> okay, she's down here. Can I cage her? Let's see if we can do it. Let's see if we can do it. Cage in place. Is she stuck? Now, the good news is she's a flyer. So I was worried about the open top because I was originally thinking I was going to get one of the uh, one of the one of the you know the fire the black hearts or the other fire one. But I'm gonna leave. <laughs> Leave our quits here just in case. And we're going to take a shot and see if she can get out of there. I don't know if, even know if I can shoot through here, though. That's the problem. Not so far, no. Hmm. No. Doesn't want to shoot through this mesh. Well, can we shoot through up top? Well, you know, I need to be able to shoot from the bottom. Anyway. No. I'm wasting all my darts. <laughs> this is a really good one too, guys, by the way. It's a five something or other. Oh, see, you can't even see through here, so I don't think there's any way I can shoot through here. Let's if I open this door, does she come out? I think she does. That's the problem. Let, let's just as an experiment. Hit her. And see what she does. Can she destroy the cage? Does she get out? Neither. Nice. Well, let's uh, tell our quets to follow us who so doesn't move. And let's see if we can take some, take some shots from here. Yeah, we can. Nice. She's not getting out. Okay. 30 cc's. How many is it going to take to knock her out, I think? I, I don't know, actually. <laughs> I wonder. Oh, boy. Hang on. She got out. No, she didn't. She isn't really getting out. Oh. Interesting. Let's keep hitting her. That really freaked me out. <laughs> okay. I hope I, hopefully I have enough 30cc darts to do this. Oh, that one missed. There we go. Hopefully I have enough. Come on, baby, drop. I'd love to have you. There she goes! Yes! And I don't know if that last start actually registered as the hit or not. 
see if I can reach her from here. I think I can. Yes. Oh, wow. She's got all that. She already has the ability. She's not even tamed yet. Okay, sleepy time. Prime meat. I don't have any kibble for her, but prime meat should do the trick. I can't sleepy time on her. Oh, no. Oh, that sucks. I didn't get the extra hit in good. 98.8 is still pretty good. Or I might have, but it didn't do much damage. Man, that's going to take forever. But I'm willing to wait. Because we're going to get a crowd goddess. Okay, she did finally take the sleepy time. I came over and tried it again, and this time I was able to remote use it. I don't know what the difference is. Maybe her torpor had to go down a bit before it would kick in. Before it will be allowed, I'm not sure. But she got totally hungry, and now she's taming up. Yay! One more eat. Yes! All right, well, listen to that roar. We're going to bring back an old favorite, Aaron. You know, air for air because she flies, and Aaron because I like that character, and she's a strong female. And uh, anyway, <laughs> go ahead and pick this up. Pick up and drop. All right, we're going to have you fly. Cool. First of all, will you, everybody? Uh, you are on. Well, I'm going to put neutral anyway, just in case. All right, all right, goddess. Can you fly? Oh, you are so slow. All right. This is normal speed. Here's sprint. Okay. Out of the box, what do we do for damage? Primary attack. 233. Not good. Second, She has slowed down, though, I think. Secondary attack is kind of the icy thing. I think secondary does torpor too, right? Let's see if we can knock something out. Uh, we're gonna have to put some points in in melee here <laughs> to find out for sure. Did you fall asleep? You did. Oh yeah, it does. It's a knockout animal. I love it. I've never used one for that, but I've heard that they can do that. That is so cool. We have an animal that can knock out. Now I need to level this <laughs> gal up. Speed. Melee. Definitely speed. <laughs> All sorts of things. Cool. Okay, I'm getting everything together for an instant level potion here. Got a little excess I want to stick in the refrigerator that I made and put over here. And I think we have enough. That's a max health potion. That's not what I want. Hang on a moment. Let me... <laughs> Let me make sure I got this right. Oh, I don't have everything I need. I need Broth of Enlightenment and XP potions. Uh, duh. Okay, now let's remind myself what XP potions need. Um, where are the XP potions? Bum, 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 bum. How much for that dog? In the window. Oh, there we go. Woolly Rhino Horn. Actual horn, not horn seed. And Flumfessen. Okay, well, let's get the Flumfessen... And the Rhino Horn. Let's grab a bunch of that. Let's grab the Rhino Horn. There's the Rhino. 988 of those. Should be plenty for now in the future. And in this magic folder is where I was putting the magic stuff since I'm putting so much of it in here. Just to keep it organized and out of the main inventory. Oh, we're full. Okay. I got it. We're full. Uh, XP potion. We now need... Wait a minute. I put magic funfussin in here, right there. Right, right, right there. Or is it seed? Magic seed funfussin. Okay. <laughs> Let's grab some seed. There we go. I'm going to have to take one of those virescens out, I think. Stick that in. We should be good to go. Yes. How many of those can we make? Just two? And I'm going to need five. All right, I'm going to make some more and grind some more stuff, guys. We'll be back as soon as we can instant level our uh, our new great goddess. All right, we've got the required uh, broth of enlightenment. We've got more than the required. I think we only needed five for this instant level potion. I think we have everything else now. Sure enough, we do. Let's craft that up. Let's put the excess in the refrigerator, put all this stuff away, and then uh, go level up our guy. Or our gal, I should say. Okay, instant level potion in hand. Here we go. Drop that down here. Remote use. Let's watch the XP grow. Come on. You've only got 122.2. You should have a lot now. 
and, 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 and. <laughs> there it is. All right. Uh, no, no, no. Let's get that up a bit. That health up. It's in the hundreds of thousands. I'm used to Art Comes Alive where it's in the millions. Let's get it up to about 250,000. At least. There we go. I want to get that speed up quite a bit. Let's go for... Let's go for 200%. Even though I don't know exactly what 200% feels like and I might be going too high. And then let's put a ton of it in melee damage. And see how the numbers change for the uh, the uh, taming portion. I, gosh, she is loud on every every level up. That is really annoying. Let's go to 2,000 to start. All right. All right, girl. Oh, yeah, that speed is nowhere near good enough. <laughs> uh, we're going to have to increase that quite a bit. Okay, what do we got over here? Let's try a regular attack, see what we can do. 806. Yeah, that's pathetic. I wonder if the torpor is from the primary attack as well as the secondary. Nope. <laughs> it didn't seem to be. Okay, a couple things. One, you need to be way faster than this. Let's try 250. Give a bunch more melee. I mean, a bunch more. I'm almost worried. Yeah, I figured it. I figured I'd max out, and I, I sure did. It doesn't seem to be doing much. Okay, the speed is decent. It's tolerable. All right, bear. I killed a level 60 dire bear with the breath. Okay. That's a level obviously higher than 60. What am I going to do to you? You're still moving. Oh, but you're running. Your torpor is high. And I killed you at 300. If you were higher than 300, I probably could have gotten you. In fact, you probably would have passed out if I just left you be. Left you be. In fact, that one just passed out. Nice. So it's good for taming. It's good for knocking out things. Yes. But the primary damage is still only 1751. Really bad. Okay. So this... This gal's going to be really good for taming. Not so good for fighting. If I need to fight, I need to take out the, the uh, crop plots, quets, uh, or Mother Earth. Probably the quets. But we have a nice, cool taming machine. Nice. Awesome. And that's going to do it for this episode, folks. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.